Hello, I am Dr. Brofaldo Wabinga of the Federal Medical Center at Belkuta. This program is brought to you by the Association of Hospital and Administrative Pharmacists of Nigeria, Federal Medical Center branch. Many times, the uh, people and patients used pharmaceutical products incorrectly. A case in point is vaginal tablets. Vaginal tablets are meant to be inserted vaginally. But we have seen such, we have seen cases whereby patients swallow them. The second one is eye drops. Eye drops generally are meant to be instilled, applied to the eyes. But whenever they are prescribed in multiples, you need strategies to use them to go to optimize therapy. When they are prescribed in multiples, there are times that you need to space these administrations so that there will be no interactions that may be negative or augmentation of these actions of these drugs. Thirdly, is the issue of mixing antibiotic powders. In some cases, you have bottles that are not with any calibration, and people find it difficult to estimate the quantities of water or diluents for them. Some people went above the, the calibration points and underdosed the, the patient who are supposed to use them. So people went below and added too little water and thus overdosing them. Fourthly is the issue of inhalers. Inhalers are meant to control asthmatic attacks and uh, chronic obstructive airway disease conditions. For example, we will not know how to use them maximally. You see the gases escaping through the mouth. Here we have a set of pharmacists who are here to show you how these drugs could be used and will have maximum therapeutic benefits from them. Doctors, medical doctors in the hospitals are meant to prescribe these drugs to you. But when you get to pharmacies, they are meant to show you exactly how to use them and to store them appropriately so that you can have maximum therapeutic benefit from these pharmaceutical products. You're welcome. Many people find it difficult when it comes to administering their eye medication. For the eye drops, it's different from the eye ointment and so the administration varies slightly. Now for the eye drops, the first thing to do always is to wash the hands properly. This will prevent introducing organisms from the hands into the eye when administering. The posture for administering is sitting up, looking towards the ceiling, raising the head upwards towards the ceiling, just like this. And one thing to note when using these medications is that we should ensure that our hands do not touch the nozzle of the eye drop and also the nozzle does not touch our eyelids uh, our eyeballs at any point so administer it now we use any of the index fingers to create a pocket in the eye just like this the drug will be introduced into that pocket so the eye drop is administered just like this the nozzle does not touch the eyelid Immediately after administering, we close the eyes for a few seconds. Avoid blinking the eyes because it will allow the drug to spill out of the eye. So close for a few seconds and afterwards wash your hands. In cases where more than one eye drops are prescribed for an individual, a time interval of about 10 to 15 minutes should be given to ensure that there is no washing off of the first eye drop. For the eye ointment, the major difference is that while the, uh, the nozzle of the eye drop does not come into contact with the eye, the nozzle of the eye ointment comes into contact, just like this. The posture is still the same, tilting your head upwards, looking up, and using your index finger to create a pocket. Now, for the ointment, you use the nozzle to create a thin line of the medication in the eyelid and afterwards you blink to ensure that the drug actually spreads in the eye. One major if side effect of eye ointment is that it causes cloudiness of the eyes. So most of the times they are prescribed in the night when you are about to sleep. But in cases where you are told to use your eye drop during the day, 
for example morning and night please ensure that you do not operate any machinery such as driving after using the eye ointment when the eye drop and the eye ointment are prescribed for an individual at least 30 minutes must pass after using the eye drops before the eye ointment is used now for the storage of these medications they are to be stored in a cool dry place this will prevent that the breaking breaking down of the components of the drug by heat or light so they should be kept away from heat and light however there are some special types of eye drops that are formulated specially these ones are to be refrigerated and that is to prevent that um, the breakdown of the medication generally eye drops and eye ointments are prescribed for a fixed amount of time for example five days seven days ten days depending on what ailment is being treated but there are some people that have to be on these medications for a long time on the body of any of these eye medications when we go through it we will read it that it should be discarded after 28 days that is we open it now after 28 days if it still remains then we shouldn't use it again so if you have any questions regarding our eye jobs our eye medication please always consult your pharmacy thank you hi i'm talking about asthma asthma is a condition in which the person's airways are inflamed narrow swollen and produce excess mucus, which makes breathing difficult there are different factors that will trigger asthmatic attack one we have the allergens which includes the pests rodents pollens air dust they could trigger asthmatic attack also we have the irritants like onion smells from child from perfumes chemicals tobacco smoke woods wood and charcoal smoke also another factor is excessive physical exercises the vigorous ones they will trigger asthmatic attack now we, have, we also have the emotions like laughing crying they would trigger asthmatic attack now to the use of your inhalers when you are using your inhaler for the very first time you are required to prime it this is to ensure that the nozzles are working and you put the medications are dispensed appropriately now how do you prime you hold your inhaler like this you remove the, the mouthpiece you shake for 10 seconds then you prime just to work now to the use you can either stand or you sit appropriately, you open the metal cap, you shake for 10 seconds, you breathe out slowly to ensure that there is no air, then you place the mouthpiece in your mouth, wrapping your lips around it, then you breathe in slowly, breathing in slowly while you press your metal canister once. You continue breathing in, remove your inhaler, and then you hold your breath for 10 seconds, after which you breathe out slowly. If you are required to take more than one pump, you repeat the process 30 to 60 seconds after the first pump. Now, in the case of emergencies, there's no need for you breathing out before taking it. You can just use it appropriately. Now, make sure when you're done with your inhaler, Make sure you please your not. This is to prevent oral trush. That's exactly what the inhaler. Then for the use of your discourse, you hold it as if you want to eat an hamburger. Using your your thumb, you slide the book away from you till it clicks. Also, you slide this lever away from you till it clicks. This opens up the mouthpiece. Then you place in your mouth, wrapping your lips around the tip of the mouthpiece. Then you breathe in quickly and deeply. While breathing in quickly and deeply, you breathe in till you feel that your lungs are filled. You remove the discourse, you hold your breath for 10 seconds, then you exhale.
exhale through your nostrils. This is to prevent the medications from escaping. Now using your thumb, you slide the lever back to its original position. Also, you slide your groove towards you to its original position to its feet. Now, asthma is an incurable disease. It is also not communicable. If you have any further question or some of the use of your inhale and your discourse, consult your primary health care provider. I will be talking about the constitutions of all active and drugs. Some drugs are stored in powdered form because they rapidly lose their potency when they are mixed into solutions. Such drugs are reconstituted prior to administration. Now, I will be talking about the regulations, administrations, and storage of oral antibiotic drugs. Now to the preparations. The first thing is to wash your hands so as not to contaminate your product. After that, remove your drug from the packaging material. You shake it to lose the powder drug. Or open the cap of the bottle. Then, for those bottles, that comes with marking, like the one I'm holding in my hand. You pour your tap water to reach half of the container. Tighten back, back your bottle. Shake it properly to ensure that there are no lumps. For those that do not come with marking, refer to your patient's information details or to consult your pharmacist. To know the required volume of water to use to reconstitute the whole antibiotic drug. Then, the next thing to do is to top, open back the bottle, top it up with the, the, main, the, the main volume of water to reach the point mark, to reach the point mark on the bottle. Thereafter, tighten it back and shake it already for the second time. Then you have successfully prepared your you have successfully prepared your oral antibiotic into suspension, which is ready for administration. Now we are going to the administration. Shake your bottle properly in order to ensure that you are taking the accurate dose of the drug. Then most times it comes with Measuring tools, such like the one I'm holding in my hand, you can use it to administer the drug. But in case it does not come with measuring tools, then you have to consult your pharmacist. Please do not use your tablespoon because they are not accurate. So ensure that you know the date of the preparations and then. The discounting date because after 14 days of preparation, it reduces its potency. So you don't have to take it again, even if it is in it remains, you have to discount it. That is that about administrations. Then your storage. Ensure you store in a cool, dry place below 20 to 25 degrees centigrade. Or Refrigerate it, but do not fix it for the period of 14 days. We are going to administer it. After that, we discard the rest. We have successfully prepared, administered, and stored the whole antibiotic. Hello. So I'm talking on two things majorly sublingual so route of administration as well vaginal tablets. So we have tablets are tablets that we just place directly under the tongue and we allow them to dissolve and then infuse. They're not to be crunched, they're not to be chewed, they're not to be swallowed. Just place it under the tongue as directed and allow it to dissolve on its own. Simple. Then for vaginal tablets, they are the last things you can do 
before you go to bed. Yes, yeah, because we apply it as a last uh, thing you do before going to bed. You're supposed to wash your hand with soap and water and clean with a dry towel. Then for a fresh room, fresh room like this that contains a stick, the tablet will be placed on on the opening here and inserted carefully. And of course, make sure you rinse after you choose. Not just rinse, you, you can disinfect with the spray. And you use after each use. Now, to talk about it appropriately, you have to lay up after washing your hands and clean, you lay your back on your bed, you raise your leg up, one of your leg, and insert gently. That's it. Thereafter, you remove the stick and you disinfect and um, keep it appropriately. It is advised that you use a pan liner when you are done with this because that we discovered that sometimes they, get, they tend to flush out and this can, um, you know, place some sort of dirt on your bed. So when you are done with this process, put on a pan liner. And of course, make sure you squeeze your butt together for a couple of minutes before standing up after application of the vaginal catheter. The same applies for suppositories. Yeah, so you might have heard of 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 um, being prosthetic implant. In such cases, they can be used as contraceptives when we add herbicide and all. The same process: you wash your hands, you clean, you raise your leg off, you insert inside, and uh, you place properly. For such prosthetic devices. You are advised to visit a doctor from time to time for a bunch of calls. Thank you. Sir, I'm not going to be a job. I'm 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 going to be a job. Allah me need doctor prescription. You will need doctor prescription. That's a matter of time for me to get my allergy. I'm not being no. Um, he left a loaf. She has seen that one time. I'm going to go now. One time. If I prevent him, I'm going to go now. If I need to go now, if I need to go, so I need to go early at all. I'm going to go to the She has been in contact with her. I'm not being no sir. We will not need self medication. Need the loan book. Now, what she was saying. Biogun, but you are from Arato. Ben and Lotu Mansia, Kuba, from Arano. Eh, Benny. Okay, now. You can be up there now. Ogun, you only side effect. Pupo gone, twelve Mansia, Kuba, from Yara. Eh, it's already in your checking, you know how. Lack of cock. Only Faki, only Jack and near Arufa. I feel fine, cool, okay. Uh-huh. 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 <laughs> Ki money thing go stronger be. What you are you? Only lose down. So I think we are going to change the far program. I want to continue to make sure for you that get all my friends here. I want supplement to come. Take my low. To my boost the money thing. Okay. But my God shall I? I know my help for you. Now I want to continue to make take. Let man near and or even on top of let man lay collateral. I like a call. I'm a four or you know the quarry. Okay, a little share. Two by that's your share. A getty and sanitizer. I'm a four. A test or you can be for bow in the bow and ring. Connor in case you buy it. I like on here. I like it. I don't tea. I'm a few or yeah. I'm a few. 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 I
te ma fi kon ju su to ba ti wo body yin o le cause yi wala eleke di eleke ta ibi ti ero ba po siju e sa fun be e ma lo ti ti ero ba ba wa te ba de mo pe e fe lo ra oja bi a ni e fe lo ra ko lo ja o ni kini e me se pe e lo ibo mu yin okay te ba ti jade e je o se gogo and the social you just stand here no se gogo you want to say but I'm here for okay and make sure you pay and she tell what you are lodged up here in my lane no so could that you tell what you leash on for bear here at the free air and any problem pay any arm here okay so so get the last thing I'm finding I'm going to get what you love we're saying here okay yeah you need to see my son that that I should go. I never do. I should go. 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 I should go.